Hello, survivors, and welcome to Savage Lands. This is how to survive your first day in Savage Lands. I have about three hours sunk into this game, so I am already an expert. Actually, I'm not, but uh, I have died several times in this game. It is an open-world survival sandboxy thing in a fantasy setting. So there's crafting and building and eating and fighting, etc., etc. And it's got a lot of promise, but I will warn you, it is very early access. There's some frustrating things about the game, but I also see some serious potential. Anywho, let's jump in and get started. I'm going to do a, uh, a single-player game. This is also, it does support co-op and multiplayer on a kind of a small server basis, but we're just going to do single player for now. I haven't really played around with the multiplayer. I'm going to use Punchwood for my name, and we're going to create a new game, and let's just call it, we'll call it First Day. We may not even make it to the first night, because um, the days last a long time. Here we go. Jumping right in to Savage Lands. There is only one map right now. It's the Sundered Isle. It is not procedurally generated, but the uh, the item placement and your spawn is indeed randomized. Now, let's see. Let me see if I recognize this place. I think so. Okay, you will usually start somewhere around a busted up boat. Now, that looks like a boat that I'm not familiar with. <laughs> but anywho... It doesn't matter for right now. Our priority here, of course, is survival. Now, can I pause the game and still look at the HUD? No, I guess not. Let's get the HUD out of the way first, and then we'll get into the actual gameplay. So the top left corner, you can see my vital statistics. I have a blue bar, a red bar, and a yellow bar. Blue is my body temperature, which is slowly um, decreasing because it's cold here. It's, it's winter. You can see the snow. And it's very windy, so I'm losing body heat rapidly. 100% in the red there is my health. I'm okay right now. And down the bottom is sort of my energy slash nutrition and food all rolled into one lovely yellow bar. And there's those things, obviously, we have to keep an eye on. And that's pretty much it for the HUD. Down the bottom, we have some hot bar stuff. I'm going to bring up my inventory. Here we are. This shows me the stuff in the vicinity. So if I were to stand by this rock right here on the ground... Bring up your inventory, it shows you what's there. You can grab it there and drag and drop, which is kind of nice. Or you can pick it right up off the uh, the ground with your hands. Um, we have some basic clothing on, nothing much. And the, your, as far as I know, your clothing starts to degrade immediately as you walk around and so forth. So um, we're not going to worry about clothes too much right now. Eventually we'll be naked because the stuff will fall apart. I think all that's being balanced. Player stats down here again. Inventory here. We have a bag. This will show you how many containers you're carrying and what's inside them. So I'm just going to bring some food down here for now. And you should start with an axe as well. Put that in hot bar number one. And that ought to do. All right. Now we're armed and dangerous. Okay. Well, we're armed. Uh, let's take a look at our survival checklist. So if you bring up this, if you press J, it brings up your journal. And this will show you kind of a basic task list of some things to do right off the bat which is not really it tells you what to do but that's about it. it doesn't tell you how to do any of this so we're just going to walk through this very quickly we also have a bestiary which is coming soon and then some uh, recipes here as well it tells you how to make some stuff so i'm not going to worry about that right now because with the temperature dropping and the day passing we need to get cranking so first things first you're going to find a whole bunch of rocks and flint around your spawn point so we're just going to gather as many as we can you want at least six bam hello that tune there in the background means i have accomplished one of my tasks as it is laid out before me in my task booklet let's check huzzah i collected six stones who's better than me um let's check yes indeed isn't that lovely now um we're going to make a campfire with that because we need to make a campfire to warm up. But before we do so, let's break down some of our bandages. So you can craft in here as well. You bring up inventory with a tab or, well, I, depending on what key you have set up. You can bring up your crafting window with another key press. I have mine mapped to C. I don't know what the default is. And you can see here that we have some basic recipes that we already know off the bat. 
Um, anyway, so let's bring up our crafting menu here, and we can go back here to the miscellaneous items, and we're gonna make up some bandages. Just go ahead and make two. We want to save some of this cloth. Let's make four. Hang on to some of the cloth because we're going to make some torches with that. Sure. That's not a horse. It's something larger and it has wings and we, we don't want to talk about that. Let's not speak of those things right now. If you did hear that sound. Let's grab the frost fern because we can use frost fern. I'm going to ignore the wood for the time being. You can use frost fern to craft up a frost fern bandage, which actually heals more than the regular bandages, so let's put that over here. Boom. All right, we're looking pretty good. Now, I'm not familiar with the spawn site here. There's about four spawn sites on this, on this, uh, on this island, and what we want to do is travel to either the left or the right, and in search of a, uh, a shelter that's already, cr already made up for us. But I don't remember, I don't know which way it is from that particular site. So let me go look around for it. And I will be right back and then I'll tell you which way to go. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. I think that's the one anyway, yeah. So I went to the left and not far down the beach. We should see a lean-to and a fire, campfire. Now here is one of the little frustrations with the early access right now. And that is you cannot, oh look, a green apple. And here's another worn stone axe. You cannot relate these fires. So part of our task list here is to craft up a fire so that we can warm up. So the, the, the fire, the heat from the fire will keep us warm so we don't freeze to death. But you have to craft up your own, um, your own, your own fire. Now, this is not the lean-to I was looking for. There's another one that if you follow directly back from that lean-to campsite, you will find a town, but this isn't the one. Let's just build a camp right here, because I don't really know where that village is from this particular location, and I'd rather not get us lost in this tutorial, since um, I'm supposed to be showing you how to survive. So why don't we just go right ahead and build up a camp, and we're going to do so by first chopping down some trees with our axe here, and we'll get some wood, and timber. Try not to get killed on your uh, your first tree. And now we're going to grab some logs. And we can take the stump too. In fact, there we go. Now I got away from the shoreline over there because the waves crashing on the shore is kind of loud. So now we have four logs. And I think I need... Let me just double check here. If you bring up your, uh, your journal. Uh, we need two flint, three logs, and six stones. So I have everything I need. So let's bring up the journal and then click on it. And here's our campfire. I'm going to put it right here. Whoops. Don't swing at it. Just press E. And then you fill up the components. Because I can walk away anytime I want and go collect more if need be and come back and it's still there. Kind of like the forest in that respect. And bam! There we go. Now we can forge items here, which right now consist of only cooking foods. But we don't have any food to cook right now. We have to go find some raw meat, which we'll do here in a second. But you'll note that my temperature is now rising, standing next to the fire. And that makes... Perfect sense. Let's break down the log into some stickeries. And, oh, what? Oh, I need another log. Let's go chop down some more trees here. Timber! Timber! Timber? No timber. There we go. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Here they come, falling out of the sky. From the heavens, the gods smile upon me this day. All right, let's, uh... Boom. Make some sticks up. Six sticks. Boom. Now, I'd like to make a torch, but we need some more flint. We're going to have to head down, back down to the beach. Or we could go pound on some rocks. I don't necessarily need the torches right now, but um, we, we could use torches later to maintain body temperature. I don't think they can provide heat. They used to, but they don't anymore. But as long as you have some clothing on... And if you're carrying a torch around, your body temperature will not drop as far as I, as far as I know. But that that's just been changed very recently, so don't hold me to that. Anywho, we have a fire, so it's not a big concern. Let's go ahead and eat. Let's eat these fine green Granny Smith apples. And you can see, whoa! I'm swinging away here. You can see that my uh, I'm so excited about that Granny Smith apple. Woohoo! High five. 
my my yellow bar has gone up. That's my food and energy, etc. So we're gonna have some nuts. Down the hatch with some nuts, freeing up some space. Because we have very limited space, guys. So utilize what you have and uh, and free up as much as possible because you're gonna need it. So one of the first things we can do is try to make a a backpack. Now our checklist says make a lean-to. Lean-tos don't do anything right now, so don't even bother. Right now, the lean-to doesn't... You, you can't interact with it. You can craft it if you'd like, but it's just a waste of resources. Um, my guess is that the lean-to is going to provide you a place of, uh, of security and shelter through the night, so maybe you can sleep through the night or something? I don't really know. But it doesn't do anything at the moment, as far as I know, so let's not build it. Okay. Let us move up into the uh, into the wilds, away from the coastline, in kind of a straight-up direction here, and see if we can't go do some hunting. We're going to be looking for deer and wolves, pretty much. And they'll both give us the hides and furs necessary in order to craft up uh, a bag. We want, we want bags and sacks and backpacks if possible. We might even be able to run into this to the town that's up here, but I'm not sure about that. Here's some deer. Okay. You want to attack the deer from behind so that they don't see you coming? Oh, there's a tower. Okay, that tower is good. That's a good landmark. That's one of the landmarks, I think. I think the town is near that. But let's, um, let's go get some, some resources from the forest creatures here and to, to smack it, you just... Oh! To kill it, you just run up and whack it with your axe a little bit. Four or five hits usually does the trick. Try to catch them on the turnaround. Because every time you whack them, they seem to turn like a different direction. <laughs> Watch out for the wolves. Oh, Skellington. Just ignore him for now. They're very slow. Come on, you. Now, my guess is we're going to get some ranged weapons soon. I really hope so, because this is kind of silly. Chasing deer by foot. Did you, ever, did you ever catch a deer on foot? By foot? No, it won't happen. All right, there we go. We have some leather. We have some raw meat, and we have uh, sinew. And we want to get a bunch of pieces of sinew. Make sure we can craft sinew with the uh, with the leather. In fact, now that we have these items, since this is the first time we've had these in our inventory, we now have some new um, recipes opened up to us. Sounds like a mule, but it's a skeleton. Ignore him. All right, guys, I have bagged another deer, but we have a visitor, and he's not going to let me loot it until I take care of him. So here's what we're going to do. You have to hold down shift to sprint. Ooh, we got him. Oh, you missed. We're just going to kind of circle straight. Him. Smash him a few times. Try to stay behind him. Oh, I'm not doing a very good job of it, am I? Ooh. Mm. Got me again. That ought to do it. That ought to... Oh, come on now. That's the one we're looking for. All right, so he did a little damage to me. No big deal, but he had extra bandages. We can turn these uh, this dried skin into some usable items. So we're going to snag that, and we're going to grab all those items. I'm going to leave the bones behind. We don't need them. All right, now that we're hurt, let's have a bandage. And this frost fern bandage. It'll give us a bit of health back. And here's some more deer, but they're looking right at me. Alright, guys. I think we have everything we need in order to make a rucksack. We do. Or a pouch. So, both of these have four slots. So, I'm not sure exactly what the difference is beyond um, aesthetics. They just look a little different. This one looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Torn rucksack. So, let's go ahead and make that. Now, we're going to need more sinew. So, let's make the sinew. Somebody's coming. Hello! We can make sinew from the leather. And now I can make my torn rucksack. Boom. And now you can see here it shows up that we have more space. Lovely! Now, we should probably head back to the fire and cook up some of our raw meat. How are we doing here for health and everything? 76 health. I'm just gonna down this bandage. High five. All right, let's head down to the coastline. The fire should still be burning. It burns for quite some time, and sadly, 
The, uh, you cannot relight them, as I had mentioned, but that is a very high priority on the fix list for the developers. They hear about it every single day, dozens of times, if you check the, the discussion forums. And there's our fire right there. Let's get to it before it goes out. All right, here we are, back at our fire. Let's warm up by the fire. Nice. And we can cook simply by bringing up our craft menu, as long as you're in the vicinity of uh, fire. There you go. Bam, 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 bam. Craft it up. And now we have some lovely deer meat. And I think I'll eat this one first. Let's move some stuff into the rucksack, shall we? There we go. Lovely. Because they only stacked five. So... Seems to make sense to eat the one guy all by himself first. Now, you can drop stuff on the ground here and it should stick around. I don't think your items that you drop despawn or anything, so should be relatively safe and I think now what I would like to do is craft up a hammer but we're gonna need some rocks for that now the only way to get rocks now let's take a look at the hammer first we go over to tools go to the right crude stone hammer we have the sinew we have sticks we just need one more stone so let's go get a stone and the, again, the only place you can get stones is right around your spawn or from other boulders, from rocks. And you have to chip it away, and you can only chip it away with uh, with a hammer. It's kind of a bummer. I can't use my axe, as far as I know. So I'm just going to run down the beach here until we come across another spawn. And I will eventually. And there should be a half a dozen stones around or so. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. Wasn't too far. And we've got stones. And there should be some flint around here as well. Make sure I don't miss any. Again, look over here in the... Uh, up by the boulders, in the grass. Because they're easy to miss, like that little fella. There we go. Flint behind the boulder. Okay, great. Now, from this spawn. The one with that particular boat wreck. You would gather all those items there and go to the left. And not too far away, you'll come to another lean-to that someone has left behind. There it is! And you should find some stones and some flints and just random items. This stuff is all randomized, by the way. There we go. Flint, extra bandages, or cloth rather, and another... Oh, was that a hammer? Oh, wasn't that lucky! Okay, yeah, you'll e either find an axe or a, a hammer. So there we go. We don't have to make a hammer. We can save our, we can save our stones for um, for another campfire. And we're gonna head to town and make a campfire probably in the next episode. Um, but we're gonna do that in the next episode. I think we're gonna call quits here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, a like is appreciated. To let me know if this is something that you want me to continue playing or not and making more videos. Um, I haven't honestly gotten much farther than this other than using the hammer on stones. And, oh yeah, I guess we could do that. So if you whack some boulders with your hammer, you can get stones. That one... If you don't see chips fly, it's not a good rock. Let's go over here to this one. Yes, this one's good. See the chips flying? We can get stuff off this. You're either going to get stones, flint, and sometimes ore. And we're just getting lots of stones off this one, which I'm not going to do anymore um, for now. Uh, you can also craft torches, so if you are getting cold and you want to make a walk up to the town, I'm going to go ahead and make one. It goes right into your hands, by the way, so you don't have to carry it over here in your inventory. And that's going to last a little bit of time. So I think what I'm going to do now is log out, call it quits, and in the next episode, we'll take a walk to the town, and we'll, we'll get set up there, because it's a nice little place. There's nobody there. It's all there for us. I think the dragon ate everyone, which is just perfectly convenient, so that we can move right in, right? All right, guys and gals, hope you enjoyed, and again, leave a like if you want to see more of Savage Lands, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.